Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! Episode 226. Tonight we're reviewing Ready or Not. I was gonna go, Ready or Not, here, here I, I come. come. It seemed like a no-brainer that may have been very stupid for a trailer. But also but perfect. But maybe great? I, you know what? We'll get into it, yeah. but I feel like that was the tone that no one related to this movie wanted to achieve. Yep. Sorry, it took me a second to break down that sentence. Yes. <laughs> yes. The people involved in making this film actively strayed away from that sort of tone. Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah. We have a new addition to the family. Uh, we haven't yet named him. No. Her? We did feel, it, it, him. We felt it was masculine and male. Somehow. I mean, gender's a construct. Either way, let us know. What do you think we should name it? We were thinking maybe Magnum, P.I. That's just too much of a bait. Like, it needs <laughs> some sort of twist. We will be holding a, a naming contest. Everyone comment below and on Patreon with your best names for the new glass. Mm -hmm. And we'll pick our, you know, four or five favorites. And then everyone on Patreon can uh, vote for the, for the name. Yeah. I'm excited about yeah, it. Yeah, love it. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. If you're lucky enough, you could find your own beautiful Mount Rose, Minnesota <laughs> to put it in. Your own vase. I mean. It feels like a tripod. I mean, it's huge. It is huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's talk about the opening because it was a lot. I was overwhelmed by the panning. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I find panning to be very distracting when it's done wrong for me. It was just too fast. Yep. And it was just shaky enough. Yep. And there was just enough on screen that I had to read that I was like, oh no. Well, that was the real key for me. I don't think it would have been <laughs> if it was just too bad if it was just like, oh, look at this room. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. instead, it was read these board games. Yeah, and read it's the like, board games. Deadly and then, lit, and I'm already trying to struggle to read it, and you're moving, and it gave me a headache, and I was like, I can't. It's... And then the titles came on. Yes. So it's was like, and I'm oh. reading these, which uh. are obviously easier to read, but I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was too much for my eyes to take in, and uh -huh. I decided to quit at a certain point. Spoiler alert, yes. we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about everything, and I do think if you're at all interested, you should go see it. Yeah. It was a good movie-going experience. It was. I mean, there's really, in all honesty, not that much to be spoiled. The ending, I was glad I was Well, the problem is a lot of stuff was in the trailer. Yes. So, a bummer that, like, the Red Band trailer really ruined most of the surprising deaths. Yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer, the, it was a lot was spoiled. So, yeah. if you haven't seen the trailer, pause, don't watch any more of this. And don't watch the trailer. And don't watch the trailer, just go see the movie. Yeah. And if you have, then you know what happens. Basically. Yeah. No, I thought the trailer did a disservice. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Yeah. I hate when they do that. Yeah. Aside from the last two minutes. Sure. It was exactly what I thought it would be. Yes. 100% like, and then she puts on Converse because she's cool. Like it was very... Was that what it was? It was male gazy in a way that I didn't hate, but it felt very like um, vague and visionary. Yes. She's gonna be in a tattered wedding dress with a bandolier of elephant bullets and a shotgun, but Converse on her feet. And it's like, I get in theory why that's cool, and 15 year old me would have been like, I'm eating this up, give me more popcorn. But I've seen that sure. a little too often. Well, and I, w I would say more than that for me, yeah. it felt very much like men were writing a strong female character. Yeah. And while it was still a strong female character, and so I was like, yes, bitch, you pull out those elephant shotgun bullets. Yes. It was still kind of, there was like this undertone of like, but this seems like it was written by a man. It was very evident. Yeah. And they wrote themselves really into a corner. So, ready or not, I got married, uh, my family's crazy, they play a game uh, whenever someone comes into the family, and it turns out if you get hide and seek, they're gonna fucking kill you. I wish and yet if it's just chess or old maid or any other game, you just play that game and go to bed. It's a game of and, chance. And apparently, well they put a, a, a blank card in and Deal then with the devil. The devil, apparently. The devil, detective. Dude, I'm the devil. Um, Lucifer would never. Would never. I will say, when they started shouting Hail Satan, I got really disappointed. I mean, because I, I was like, they haven't seen the movie. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, they don't get it. Right. Satan's on our side. 
Go watch Chelsea. <laughs> BT dubs. BTW. Pause. If you're not doing, if you do nothing else with your day, go watch Chelsea. Go watch Chelsea. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. I would have liked a little bit more background on this. Uh -huh. Of like, I mean, he had a whole little expository monologue of like, and then our great grandfather did this whole thing. I would have just liked a little bit more if there was a book. Where do they get these chants from? How is it all coming to them? From the devil. Bull. I did like that it was simple. I didn't want it to be more complicated or overly mythos. No. Uh, I, I mean, it kind of reminded me of Wish Upon. I, I, you know, I, I love it. Love them. Exactly. So I liked that it was like, oh, it's they made a deal with the devil and they have to do this no matter what, you know, and, and there was twists here and there and action here and there, but I liked that it didn't go full bananas, you know, the devil showed up. Right. There, then he explains his methods of... Oh, sure. Bad. No, I don't want that. I like, don't I didn't need that. that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, now, here's a question. Mm -hmm. So, at a certain point, he talks about, like, oh, well, I knew if we didn't get married, you would leave me. So, that's why he justified getting married to her. Now, well, that's what I was... Sorry, but that's what I was saying. They wrote themselves into a corner with you don't want them to be together because he has lied to her and there's a, I don't know, one in 52 chance that his family's gonna murder her. Yeah. So, you're already like, well, no. Right. You're risking a lot here. <laughs> that either you have to murder your wife right. or your entire family will die. If no. there's a chance of that, wouldn't you like at least explain it? And if she leaves you because you're crazy and your family's insane, right. then she leaves you. Well, he was a selfish asshole. Well, sure. And that's sort of the point. Yes. But like, then you can't be rooting for them, mm -mm. which is fine, I guess. Sure. I think my expectations were a bit high. Because everyone had commented and told us that we have to go see it and it's this can't be disaster, not disaster, I guess, that this can't be over the top craziness. And it totally was. Was it? I didn't find this to be particularly that campy. Agreed. Campy is the wrong word. It was over the top and crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. There were moments, I mean, I enjoyed this. Yeah. I thought it was certainly much more of like an enjoyable theater going experience than Midsommar, or, you know, Hereditary, one of those. Yeah. It was not Ma, though. Oh, no. So, you know, it's oh, like no. different tones, different veins. Ma, you're right. It was not campy. No. Actually. Not in my opinion. No. It was It had cheeky. elements. It was cheeky. It was self-aware. Yeah. The problem with camp is it's so subjective, but also a lot of times the best camp is unawares. You know? It would be my honor. Just follow me. <laughs> this was very heavily orchestrated, yes. aware, clever. Yep. Uh, but not campy. Cheeky, sometimes fun, sometimes like real wink wink nudge nudge. Snap snap, grin grin, wink wink, nudge nudge, say no more. But not really campy in my per my personal opinion. I agree. But ready or not, yeah, yeah. the film that, I don't know, they got funding after that movie Tag came out. Oh god. I tried to watch Tag. I just Tag. made that up, I don't know. Oh, well I mean I'm sure you made that up. But I tried to watch Tag on an airplane oh, where there was literally, literally nothing else to watch. And so I was like, well, that sounds light and stupid and fun for an airplane. And it was like unwatchable. It was so bad to me that I turned it off. I was just like, no, I'm not doing this. I'd rather sleep or do something else on my iPad. Oh, it died. I don't care. I'll sit here in silence. I don't want to watch this movie. It was that. I did not like it. I didn't see it, so no idea. But. But I do, I do imagine the pitch meeting of this film being. Are you ready? It's hide and seek, but a but movie. Ultra violent, yeah, yeah, like, but yeah. it's for keeps. It's for pink slips, you know, like it's for reals, you know. Like I'm, somehow I doubt that these directors referenced Greece in no. their pitch meeting. No. No. Although, <laughs> yeah. could have used a little more Greece. I could have, you know, I could have used a little bit more cheeky, fun music choices. I think it was. It was in the middle. It sure. was not quite violent and scary enough to be a street like, ooh, that was spooky scary with some fun elements, horror sure. movie. Sure. And it wasn't quite campy, silly, ridiculous enough, not quite the ending, we'll, we'll get there, I liked it. Um, to be that, it was it was like just in the middle. Yeah. So I liked it, but I wasn't like, oh boy, this is one I'm gonna revisit. Um not for yes me. and no. I thought that, but then at the same time, and maybe not for me personally, I could kind of like we talked about Crawl or certain other ones, like yeah. I could see this being like a slumber party movie for 
kids. If I was 15, 16 in high school, I would have fucking loved this movie. Yeah. yeah. They were cussing up a storm, yep. which I thought actually was to its detriment. I think the script itself, the dialogue, and the characters could have used punch up. Get like a really funny comedian, sure. right, to sure. do a pass sure. on it. And just. Because the dialogue felt heavily reliant on cursing, which I know coming from me. But I don't it just I wish it, it just could have been just that much more clever or or a little more interesting. I wasn't like particularly drawn to any character. Well that's I think I was gonna say for me, I mean maybe yes, it was the script, but also I liked all the actors. The other but also really I good didn't think that anyone was great. Like, I felt like if you had replaced maybe some of them with I a mean, real fabulous cunt or like someone yeah. that was just like... Just make it Knives Out. I mean... I mean, I basically. Mean, the comparison is there. It's there. That's fair. I kind of wish when the sister came in, the cocaine riddled yes. sister, yes. I was like, ooh, I wish that was Lizzie Kaplan. The friend in Mean Girls. Yeah. That has now gone on. Sure. She was on True Blood. Sure. Remember? No. She was in the season with Steven Root when they were keeping him in the basement. Oh, God. <laughs> Lizzie Kaplan, uh, she was in Party Down. You've seen Party Down. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think. Anyway, so, anyway, she's got that really great, like, she knows a tone. Sure. Where the actress playing the sister, I thought, served a purpose, but didn't wasn't like, oh, bitch. Well, that joke was yes. so one note to me. Yeah. Where it was just like, oh, and then she's doing a different drug. And I'm like, but give me more. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Or like a, a purpose or why is she doing the drugs? Is she doing all the drugs because she knows like what's supposed to be going yeah, on? Yeah, and she can't deal with it. And I, I wish they would have explored that because so she has two young children. And so I thought she was like... Wait, self she was the one with the children? Yeah, see? Okay, problems. Problems with the characterization. <laughs> yes. Oh. So I was like, oh, if she's like trying to protect, like in, in her own way protecting herself from the situation and going crazy because she's like, oh, I'm a mom, like I want to protect my kids. How do I do that? How do I write this line? But then at the end, I guess that was kind of the point too, was that like this family had gone too far. Oh, right, but my question was, uh -huh. yes. so if they hadn't gotten married, let's say that she didn't have this deep desire that she yes. had to get married to have a family, family, right? Let's say that they didn't get married. Just lived in sin. Then would they have been fine? Would they, have, like what if they had a kid? Would it catch up to them? They made allusions to like, Oh, people who eloped immediately died. Right, because they actually got married. Um, yeah. I guess I would say like... Just like what's the difference between a maybe girlfriend and a... Maybe catch up to you. How many years do you have to be together? To, I mean, is it like a common law marriage? Does right. that count? Does that get like a domestic as partnership? As soon as the domestic part, the timeline on that uh, comes together, uh -oh. blue, dead. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you've been together 10 years living in the same... Like, right, you know, right. whatever the laws are in the Ex state that you're in. Exactly. I don't know. I mean, whatever. But like, yeah. Whatever, but I did think, well, I don't, I don't know. Did Just that. don't get married. But the lead actress yeah. with her Disney eyes. Oh, I mean, yeah, they were. She kind of reminded me of uh, Margot she looks Robbie. She like Margot Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a slightly tinier, just generally sure. tinier Margot Robbie. So sure. she's Samara Weaving. She is Hugo Weaving's niece. Oh. She was in that movie, that Netflix movie, The Babysitter, that had similar themes to this. Oh. And Three Billboards. Well, I thought she was really good. I thought she was great. I really um, thought she was probably the best. I mean, she had the most. Is she Australian? Yeah. Love it. That uh -huh. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, I would have liked a little bit more of an Australian edge Just to this. Just a little bit darker. A little more or... twisted. And slash a little more of that dark sensibility well, and humor. Be, yes, because like not like oh my god, if Taika Waititi had done a pass on the script. Oh yes, that could have been really good. Forget it. Yeah, yeah, but also because like I mean, jumping ahead to the end, but like are we spoiling? We can't. Are we there yet? We're not there. Yet. I mean, we already said spoilers. Okay, I'm not gonna build up to it. Okay, fine, we'll build up to it. I'll we'll, we'll, we'll circle back. Circle we'll, back. Yeah. Circle back. Can we talk about Aunt Helene? Oh my god. But Helene, it's nice to see you. Brown-haired niece, you continue to exist. <laughs> I loved her! The whole, oh my gosh, she's great. She was in the movie that I was like, uh-huh. I mean, this up yeah. with a spoon. Yeah. Yes, give me all of this. I mean, if Anne Helene weren't so evil, I would say that she could be on like a, a fabulous, fictitious kind of island, but she definitely She's, not. you know, in the like, um, <clears throat> caves or something. You know, with like Maleficent. Like sure. she's, you know. Cruella de Vil. You're just hanging out there where you're like, you're certainly fabulous, but you're not a fabulous kind. Right. 
Sure. The and fabulous also, villain you're island. You're also a cunt, but you're not a fabulous cunt. You're gonna get flagged, guys. It's just what's up. I mean, simultaneously, it was very what I wanted. And yes. also just a little, like, yeah, that was good. Like, Andy McDowell was great. She was hilarious. That was her. Yeah. I thought Adam Brody was... He's not a good actor. I'm sorry. He's just not. Remember him in baggage check claim? Forgot about that movie. Forgot he was in it. He was, he was in like the gay yes. flight attendant or whatever. Friend that was like, oh. girl, you yeah. gotta call oh. him. Ooh, it was bad. Yeah, I, I just don't really think that he's a good actor. Is he bad? No. Is he good? No. Yeah, but he's just... He's just... An actor. Yep. Um, his character, I thought, could have been fleshed out as well. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, he's an uh, alcoholic, and it's because he's, you know, been deadened by this crazy family. He protected his younger brother and took the brunt of the emotional scarring and yeah. abuse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and has never really recovered in this sort of, like, dead inside. I mean, and by the end, it's like, well, oh. Well, he marries a wife who's just a gold digger, also yes. heartless. You think the whole time that the fiancé, or the groom, rather, is the softy, right? Is the one that's going to... Yes. Come through in the end, and it was really Adam Brody the whole time. Yeah. It was actually the softie. Yeah. I mean, I thought that scene with him and the sister, where he was like, I mean, we all fucking deserve to die. <laughs> right. And she's like, not my children. And then he's like, hey, mommy, I shot that girl. I was like, oh, yeah, they all do. I almost wanted to see the family together. More. What's their dynamic like? Mm -hmm. Also, show me how terrible they are so that I'm like, yes, they all deserve well, to die. Well, I would have liked a little more social commentary of, they kind of just go, Fucking, the fucking rich, like, right. they're crazy. But, like, the fact that, you know, these rich people are worshipping the devil and have con convinced themselves that they've made a deal with the devil, you know, turns out it's true. And they're so wrapped up in in that and, and all this suspicion and all of this superstitious stuff and whatever and, like, making them, making that more of a comment on, like, the rich. Yes. And, you know, keeping it all together, you can't come be part of our family, you know, like keeping that sort of line. That, that's kind of an interesting idea that they didn't fully flesh out. I love the ending, we'll get there. But I almost would have preferred if it was just that they were all so greedy and money hungry that they had convinced themselves that they were gonna die, like that the devil was real and that sure. they were gonna, and they were just like, it was oh. all a fucking lie and we've been doing all these we've been... horrible things for so many years because we all convinced ourselves because we're so greedy like that's almost even better exactly like oh we didn't want to lose it we were so afraid of losing it or i guess of dying but like both and this like fear-mongering suspicion of yes. like the devil is coming to get you or yes. whatever it's like they, that would kind of would have been great it would have been a jordan peele movie sure. like you know what i mean like that would have been his ending we haven't talked about the house no it's very clue yes obviously Secret passageways. Yeah. It did seem weird that like the groom seemingly was the only one using them. Yes. Or I was confused by knew that. Knew about them. Yeah. I was at least at least the other brother. I guess he didn't give a fuck. But then you'd think that the parents would know too. Yeah. No one bothered to use the service passageways. It seemed weird. Yeah. I thought there would be more like. It Cat could have been a little bit more fun of like, uh, yeah, 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 ooh, and then there's like, oh, Going no, through the painting. Like, yeah, ooh. And I'm sneaking through the or whatever with the eyes of the painting or my eye uh, something. A little dumb? A little bit. Maybe not even that dumb, but just a little. Like, I would have loved a rotating bookshelf or whatever uh -huh. else. Uh -huh. And, like, you know, Like, make fun of the obscenely rich yes. even more with that yes. kind of stuff. Yeah. Yes. Pull a, like, pull a book out that, like, triggers yeah. it and it's the fountainhead or something that's, like, a fun, like, oh. Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, it's Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, that's better. Eh, they're both pretty. Oh, we didn't talk about the hide and seek song though. Oh my god. Hide and seek. Run, run, run. It's time to hide. I mean, I liked this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love it. Like, where did it come from? Who made this record? Was it just I mean, it the seemed devil to be from, made like, it? the 50s. Well, sure, but like, where, who? Well, I, I like that they established that each generation of this family sort of added new flavor and stupid things. Like, oh, the mask. <laughs> that was days. my dad's idea. It was from the 80s. Like, we don't wear the masks anymore because that's stupid. But, like, this tradition we have to keep. You know, so it seemed like, you know, some grandpa picked, you know, that song sure. came out. Of the way. That sure. was perfect, you know. Yeah, so. It's still on record, you know. Right, 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 yeah. And yet playing through the whole mansion. 
you know, that you could do that. It just seemed like it was on like a turkey. They had some IT guy come through and like wire up, you know, the phonograph. I mean, they did have all those security cameras and everything. Exactly. So, you know, it's hooked up into the Sonos player. All right, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. But I'm frightened of the dog. I too drank the cognac. Oh, my God. I mean, I would have loved a clue reference. I would have loved a clue reference. It needed a little more. A little more reference. Even references. if she was like, what is this clue? Shh, we can't say that word here. <laughs> what is it, Mrs. Peacock in the living room? You know, like, what is this? That could have been fun. Yeah. Yeah, I would have liked that. I would have liked Even that. Even if they didn't reference the movie clue. Oh, sure. Reference the board game. Exactly. Uh, and as you saw in the trailer, all of the maids that are... Expendable. I mean, it, Expendable. It, it just didn't feel... I didn't know what they were saying with this. I wanted it to be more, even more expendable somehow. Sure. Because they had all these weird lines of like, oh. She was my favorite. But there was like a weird ADR like, oh, she was my favorite one. Like, and then I was like, to fuck? Like, I was like, oh. I don't even know anything or whatever. He just likes the way that I dance. And I was like, oh. It just felt very like, I don't know, they're kept. If that's the case, I mean, let's get into it. Sure. And like, Fuck them. Yeah, they should die. Well, I mean, I, I think definitely. But like, yes. It was just like a, a slight illusion of like, and these sexy maids being murdered off one by one sort of happenstantially by the daughter just because she's like a mess and on drugs. I mean, I just, I wish I had a little bit more of a point. Like, it was like subtle. I think it was, it was just subtle. to be that they're rich and they, you know, it's like, oh, well, bummer. There goes a maid. I liked her the best, you know. I just wish it had been a little more twisted or a little more like, eh. Oh, sure. You know, another one or, or something. I mean, they kind of did. A little bit. It just didn't click for me all the way. Exactly. They really did it, but it was like almost just going through the motions. I can't take any more scares. <laughs> we can't go down this road. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not shouting. <laughs> all right, I am. I'm shouting. I'm, sh I'm shouting. I'm shouting. So, quick commercial break, and we're back with more Clue. I mean, no. Hi, easy. Ready or not. The main girl is kind of like, well, I mean, there's no way for me to win, really, so, like, what are we doing? And he's like, well, you could survive until dawn. And stay hidden until dawn. <laughs> no, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> and I like she's like, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh, and I kind of wish we'd had a little more sense of the time and how much time was left. Sure. A little earlier, a little bit of like a check-in. Oh my God, we've only got this, or like right, a, a big, grandfather a big clock grandfather or, clock yeah. and it's donging and that sure. could have been a fun ticking Ooh. clock of yes. literally, yes. of like forward momentum of like, we only have this much left, oh my gosh. It right. doesn't have, it didn't have to be like run a little run or something, but something that grounded it in time. Sure, yeah. How long she has to try and escape and how long they have yeah. to try and escape. But I did think, okay, I mean, <sighs> missed opportunity, is a stretch yeah. because I'm yeah. the only one I'm the only one that thought of this, I'm sure. But when the main butler guy, because he's like the Terminator, I don't know, he, he just won't die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she gets some of this, she gets some of that. She's running through the yard, he captures her, she's in the right. car, like he keeps finding her or whatever, and then he finally shoots her with a dart gun. And yes, says, a trank gun. A trank gun. Good night, Gracie, or whatever. Well, he says, good night, Grace. And I was like, oh, the missed opportunity. You should have said, say good night, Gracie. Yeah. Say good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night. Then I thought, well, maybe that reference is really old and no one cares. I mean, I thought of it. Say good night, Gracie. And then it would have been like, oh, fuck you, dude. Exactly. Like, <laughs> why was this butler, what is? what does he care? He's not even Other part of the family. The butler. I don't right. Know, you know. If they all die, what's their will say? I don't know. I mean, she's definitely the last next of kin, so. But does that mean she now has the deal with the devil? Like, does it transfer? Maybe because so, she saw, okay, well. We're there. Yeah, he miraculously comes back after she strangled him. And after she drove for a while. A, a while. He. <laughs> He's the Terminator. I mean, if Robert Patrick had been playing the butler, yes. <laughs> Get a few more campy actors in here. I, I think a little campiness really would have been fun. Really could have camped it up. Just like I mean? a couple, you just need Obviously, one or two. Obviously, Anne Helene. Oh my God. Don't touch her. Love it. Loved it. Throw a Lizzie Kaplan in there, throw a Robert Patrick in there. Even Becca Bruce Campbell, I wouldn't be necessarily mad. Weird Uncle Lou. I'm into it. And then this was weird to me though, where the brother finds her. Yes. And then the dad's already I mean, there. People keep showing up. Yeah, I don't know. Here. It's like this property is simultaneously expansive and tiny. Maybe they like secret tunnels. I'm here. I don't know. The little golf cart. I mean, I would have liked that. Right? Beep. 
<laughs> you know, and they're like trying to golf her, like they're trying to like club her with a no. golf club. No. Yes, it would have been great. Yeah. You, of course you have a half, you know, a nine I, hole golf course. Fuck you! Love it. Right? That'd be silly. And it's got like their initials on it, of and course. it's like the crest yes. and everything. Yes. Because. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Anyway! Not they right. capture her, yes. they're gonna sacrifice her to the devil. They take her into the lovely room of death. <laughs> of course not. This is a lovely room of death. They all get poisoned by Adam Brody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry, it's just enough to have them shit weird for a week. But they threw up right in the middle of the ceremony so they threw you could blood. get away. Yeah. <laughs> they threw, threw up blood. blood. <laughs> oh no, I was poisoned for... A second. Oh, I'm fine. Um, but she then, you know, uh, escapes with him and, 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 and seemingly screams like Xena Warrior Princess? Oh yeah, this was weird. She's it was like, like hey! I think it was just like, you know... Survival, she's been through it, just like that's sure. all that came out. I don't know. All I'm saying is that I laughed. That's all I'm saying. It's like, where's your, you know, uh, razor sharp frisbee? You know, it would have been good. Yeah, that would have been good. Everyone's, you know, getting knocked off. So I was like, oh, are they going to die? Like, is they all die. the way of the devil, right. you know, like killing them all off because, you know, this, that, and the other. Adam Brody is killed. Uh, after saving her, and she beats the shit out of Andy McDowell, murders her. I was like, what? She grabs that magic death box and... Yes! And... I was hoping that that was going to be part of, like, you know, some weird something thing. Something like it was going to be a new car. Exactly. Like Jumanji. Yeah, you just got to roll like, the dice again. And oh my like, god, I right? love you know? that. Yeah. this one was Clue. I mean... Who done it? <laughs> it was Adam Brody's wife in the hallway. We saw. With the revolver. Yeah. The groom finally escapes and, you know, oh, do you think we could still be together? Also, you just murdered my mom. I think we've gone past it, mm. Alex. I think we've gone I think we passed that the bridge point. too far. Yeah. Yes, they're going to kill her again. He's like, right, and hail Satan, hail Satan. And this is when I really got into the movie. I, mean, I, I enjoyed this a lot. Oh she loved this was me. actually very true bloody. It was very true bloody. <laughs> I want to do bad things to you. you. She like shifts the knife. Oh, it goes oh, into no, her shoulder, shoulder instead of her heart and escapes. And then she opens the curtain so the light comes in and they're all like acting like vampires. Right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Which really got me. That really made me laugh. <laughs> me too. Just like, ah! Oh. Oh. I. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess we're all okay then. Oh. I love this because then you're like, oh fuck, it really was all bullshit. Like, that's fun. Yeah. But then it wasn't. I kind of like that it was all bullshit ending better. I know. Yeah. But because it was weird. So at first, so Aunt Helene. She, Aunt Helene is going to stab her. She's like, fuck it. I'm going to do it I'm anyway. I'm the best one. I'm the most devoted. Yeah. I'm going to make this happen even though the sun's already up. And she goes to stab her and she just explodes. Right. But it was only from like the head or shoulder up. Well, you don't really see it. You just. You just see kind of the, it and the spray. Right. So I thought someone had like the elephant shotgun. That's what shotgun. they want you to think. Right. Just, that's what they wanted. And I was like, oh fuck, who murdered her now? Yeah. And what's happening? Like, who's here to save the day or whatever? And McDowell like hobbles in half a face like, bitch. I was intrigued. Mm -hmm. But instead it was just, oh, like the devil. I mean, this was a wacky schmacky. Wacky schmacky. They want you to think that some, you know, Reba McIntyre showed up with a shotgun, you know. I went to Tremors. And then, you know, people just start literally spontaneously so. combust. I mean, now if Brad Dorif had been in this movie, holy shit. I want to camp, camp, camp it up. <gasps> also, Leslie Ann Warren. Yes. yes. Oh, I yes. love me some Andy McDowell, but Leslie Ann Warren, she gets she it. She would get it. Let's recast this whole movie. Okay. Except for um, the main girl. I yeah, thought she like, was actually I thought great. she was really great. No one was bad. No. But like... Camp, camp, camp it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, I think Adam Brody was the first one that needs to be replaced. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know who I would replace him with? I've got it. Robbie Amell. As the, as the, the groom. groom. Yeah, no, not as Adam. Yeah, I'm into it, though. Yeah. Like, but he can come. He's in invited. He's invited. To the clue party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the groom. They get married. Oh, my God, we're so excited for them. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, wait, maybe he's a selfish asshole. Oh, he's terrible. He needs to die. <laughs> Oh good, the devil spontaneously combusted him. It's still just a little... I mean, I enjoyed that it like went off the rails. Sure, sure. But also a more poignant ending would have been, 
It was all, and then they're just like getting arrested and yeah. like a line. Exactly, of like, exactly. Oh, the FBI, you know, like, come, because it was a red herring. I'm going to go home and sleep it with my, my wife. wife. It was tough then, where it was like the devil being real and having this deal with them, where they all now combusted. Yeah. Kind of makes it like, well, yeah. They, well, also, they did what they had to do. What's the devil getting out of this? I have no idea. I guess souls, right? Sure. Of, of their love I don't I just don't but love like, a devil story because I'm a cop and it's the law well I'm the devil I didn't mind so much that he was the devil but his motive like the, to me the devil at least in traditional you know etc et is trickery and you're sure. gonna do my bidding on right. earth right so it seemed like he would want them to keep living to keep on this legacy of greed and like maybe we find out the factory conditions and the board game you know what I mean like sure. they're contributing to poaching or Whatever it is that the devil wants, sure. that seems more valuable to right. and who, what are we talking about? That's what I'm saying. But I, then like, and every maybe 20 or so years we kill someone for you. It just seemed weird. Was it someone Devotion. That, I guess it was someone that the just devil deems pale. not worthy to pale. join the family. Maybe that's what it is. Where it's like, oh, are they, because all the other ones were, were evil. And dumb and stupid. And, exactly. It was yeah. like, oh, either they're useless. She was too good. She was too good. Okay, I like that. So it's like, oh, hide and seek. If she, like, it's you or that. Like, this family's yeah. gonna end yeah. either th through her. Yeah. So maybe that's what it was. I like that. We got to the bottom of it. I like it. But they all spontaneously combust. Oh my god. The, how, the mansion is ablaze. I mean, the only thing that would have made it better was it's just like, I mean, it was playing the stupid hide and seek song. But right. if it was like, da 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 da. <laughs> just went full V for Vendetta. <laughs> just like Tchaikovsky playing. That would be Hugo just... Weaving at Shona. Oh my god, yes. Love it. I want to remake this movie in Australia. Hugo <sighs> Weaving, yes. Guy Pearce, oh Sam Neill. Let's get into it. Kate Blanchett, she's there. Well. Naomi Watts is there. Kate Winslet can also be there because... She's not technically Australian, but she's invited to the she's party. She's invited also to the party. Also the Hemsworths. Oh my god, always the Hemsworths. Now, I think Liam, I think he would be a good Adam Brody character. Where you're like, oh, he's an asshole. No, he's not. And then you're like, no, don't die. Liam. Liam! So then the house is blazing a fire. Well, uh, yeah, he, the, the groom, literally explodes onto her. Like, she's, like, just gooey with yep. blood. Yes, a and... finger drops from the ceiling. Oh, did it? I yeah, didn't you didn't notice it. that? It was like a fingertip that fell onto the table. Was it a middle finger? No. Or it was like brain matter or maybe something? It, maybe it was it his was... ring finger. <laughs> I mean, I would have liked it. She should have kept that ring. Have. Like, she should have kept that ring. Although, is that binding her to the deal with the devil? I want a divorce! <gasps> she got a divorce before he exploded? Yes. I mean, she asked for one before I he guess exploded. that's true. I want a divorce! I mean, her wedding dress. Apparently, there was seventeen different varieties of de Shades degradation of, of the wedding dress, and love I was it. like, "This is great." Love that. It's like John McClane's wife beater in Die Hard. I love it. So she busts through these, you know, French doors in the patio with the fire blazing, and it's just like she gets out the fucking cigarette case. I mean, it was. I wish it had been more dressmaking. Let like, this shit burn. Like, yeah. Fuck it. But I was like that. I just. It was so close. Yeah. It was just like it was oh, so fuck, close. I just want that cigarette moment. Because the fire gets set kind of, they, throw, they throw a lantern down or, or whatever, you know, it's like the, the cow kicked it over and then the London fire or whatever. Sure. Had it been, they all exploded, right? And, and she's sitting there like, what the fuck am I going to tell the police? And she's like, picks up the cigarette case, purposely sets the house on fire and it's just like, bitch, let it burn. That would, I think I would have liked. Sure. But then, you know, they play like hard rock, melancholy, love me tender and... And she, I mean, I want to know what this police report is going to say. And honestly, though. She's going to jail. I mean, there's right? no way to explain it. There's no way the to explain it. The body's in the goat pen. Like, the explosion. The rest there's of, no the blood everywhere. I guess the blood would have burned. The blood done. She blood all over her. I don't know. It's a long conversation she's having with the police. She's still there. She's still being interrogated. To this day. Right. I, I really don't know how you get out of that. Well, you see, officer... <laughs> They made a deal with the, the devil. devil. Where they believed we, that we were playing a game of hide and seek. Based on a true alligator event. I was surprised they didn't have dogs 
Yes. Release the hounds! I thought so too. When she was running through the forest, I was super waiting for the dogs to be there. You know what doesn't make sense? <laughs> so we're gonna play this game of hide and seek, but if she wins, we all die. Right. So I guess it was just tradition. I was like, then just kill her. Like, just then just... Don't let her leave the room. She had to play the game. The That's devil's the deal. Game. It was the devil's game. You had to play. Okay. I mean, now I want to rewatch Jumanji. Oh my god. Sorry. Also, you Sorry. really still need to watch the new one. Okay, I'll watch it on a plane. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's great. Like a good player? Yeah. Okay. That's how I first saw it. It was great. Okay, great. So, anyway, it sounds like we didn't like this movie at all. I really did. I think the reason I'm being so precise and nitpicky is because it was so close to yeah. being fucking fabulous yeah. and it was just like oh that was good yeah exactly i'm enjoying the the australian reboot that we re rewrote that absolutely here for you yes <laughs> directed and, and written by taika watiti oh my god yeah just... and also jeff goldblum's there <gasps> But who is Jeff Goldblum? You said that like my room. But who, who is, is Jeff, Jeff Goldblum? Goldblum? He's Uncle Jeff. Who gives a shit? He's there, <laughs> He's there. And I love it. He's living in the basement. I don't know. They find him in the attic. I love it. <laughs> Cheers.